I want you to think for a moment what it means to forgive somebody and what it means to show mercy because I think a lot of people don't actually get it a lot of people seem to think that forgiveness boils down to forgetting what happened pretending it never happened and that mercy boils down to letting somebody get away with it in so many terms and that's wrong, that's not correct this is how I see it in the case of forgiveness forgiveness doesn't mean that you will pretend that the responsibility no longer lies with the person that you're forgiving but it means that you're willing to let it lie it is still there the wrong that's been done is still there that cannot be changed it will not be forgotten either but it will not be brought up again and you're willing to go back to a normal relationship with that person despite what they're responsible for despite what they've done that is what forgiveness is mercy likewise means that out of your own volition you choose not to avail of the option to seek retribution it doesn't mean you're going to let somebody get away with it it doesn't mean that you're going to stop holding them responsible for the act of evil or whatever that was committed but it means that you're going to stop seeking retribution you're going to stop seeking punishment for that act and this becomes very important now in what I've been seeing on YouTube lately and this is to do with what has been going on with Jesus Freak 777 and the responses to Jesus Freak 777 now the first response that I noticed was the infamous response made by In Mandem by Gary and what struck me about that was that it was an extremely unforgiving merciless response to Jesus Freak 777 and that's not right the man is in a deep personal crisis and he deserves our empathy and if we can help him we should offer that helping hand now this is where the bits where the terms of forgiveness and mercy come in you see I should I think that we should be forgiving in our interaction with Jesus Freak 777 we should be merciful we should not seek punishment for his ideas and his attitude and the sort of person that he is but this is also where it comes back to that distinction I made earlier we should not forget what underlies it all what we are forgiving him for and what we are showing mercy for and what he is because he is beyond any doubt one of the most evil people I have ever come across on this site and that's not going to change no matter how much empathy we feel for the man how much we want to reach out and give him that helping hand we must not forget what he is nor will he let us forget it by the way you only need to look at his latest video or at least the latest video I saw of him where after a rambling rant of about nine minutes 
where he seems to be seeing the light and giving out about his fellow Christians and he, he even titled it that he uh, had enough of, of those Christians. When it boils down to it, he sits there unblinkingly and tells the world that Tommy from the Bronx is going to hell. Not only that, that he deserves to be going to hell if he were to die as an unrepentant atheist, that is. Now that sort of a belief is vicious. It is completely and utterly unacceptable. It is the product of a truly depraved and evil mindset. I'm not going to make any bones about this. I'm not going to spare your feelings, Anthony, because of the, the trouble that you're going through. That is disgusting. And then you have the affront to tell me that you're only passing on the message that it is God who will do the judging. Your God, Anthony, is a figment of your imagination. And I can state that with absolute confidence. Beyond any reasonable doubt, your God does not exist. And where does that leave you? That leaves your God inside your head. That's where he resides. And who, Anthony, is responsible for what happens in your head? You can give me two answers to that. There are two possible answers to that, Anthony. You can either take responsibility for what happens in your head, in which case you have to take responsibility for every vile, disgusting statement that you've ever made on this channel. Or you can reject the responsibility, in which case you're basically telling us that you're mentally ill. What is it going to be, Anthony? What's the choice? I'm very sorry for what's happening for, to you, Anthony. Truly I am. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, I'll be glad to help. But do not think for a moment that I'm going to forget what an evil little scumbag you are. Okay?